And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith Yahweh, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Before I get started, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechach Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, salutation and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that believe wholeheartedly in the true doctrine of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that are in the hope of salvation in these last days. Okay? And the water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for opening up our minds to this truth and giving us this knowledge in these last days that we may have the hope of salvation. All right? Um, quick little video I wanted to share with uh, you brothers as well as sisters out there that, you know, that that are seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and his mercy in these last days and are hastening the day, all right, of, of, of his coming, you know, to come and deliver his elect and establish and set up Israel on the planet Earth as his people once again and as the, 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 the number one nation to control the planet Earth in righteousness. Um... I just read Joel chapter 2, verse 17. Um, I'm sorry, Acts. This is also found in the book of Acts. I mean, uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 28. And uh, it's repeated here in the book of Acts. Okay? Dealing with things that will be going on in the last days. What the Most High said he would do in the last days. All right? As far as... Uh, him pouring out his spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Now, when it says they shall prophesy, it doesn't mean that they're going to go out on the highways and the byways and, um, you know, uh, you know, prophesy as, as the men do, as the hopeful elect do. It's, it's, it's speaking about them having visions and dreams. Okay. That's what it's speaking about. And um, that's what happened. Okay. Uh, what was it? Uh, Sunday morning. I was still at work. Um, and my son called me early. My oldest son, he called me earlier that morning. He called me that morning before I got off. And he was like, he basically said, Dad, hey, uh, uh, he, he's like, I had a dream. And I was like, oh, yeah, what, what, what happened? And he basically got to explain it to me what he saw in his dream. But he really, you know, he's only 12 years old. So he was, you know, he couldn't explain it, you know, like the brother uh, Manata Zagba in the camp. Uh explained his his dream so what i did was you know and plus i was at work i told him i said look what i want you to do is i want you to draw everything you saw in your dream you know because he he's he's a uh, he likes to draw so i basically told him just draw what you saw in your dream and um when i get home you just explain to me when i get to when i get to the house you just explain what you what you saw and um so he said all right and what he did was this is what he drew i took a picture of it all right and this is what he drew all right as you can see here this area these are the chariots all right he saw chariots in his dream. And of course they were destroying things. And he said it was, he said you could, it was so many of them, they covered the sky. All right. He saw the chariots. All right. And uh, down here, you see the people in the street. 
that basically laid out and dead because that's what he told me. He said he saw nothing but dead bodies in the streets and he heard nothing but people screaming and crying. And they were dead. It was a lot of people dead in the street. All right. This up here, he said this was like, and it was like in a, a big ball explosion fire in the sky, but it had spikes coming out of it. You know? I don't know what, you know, only thing I could probably think that meant is the explosion is, is going to be very painful to those that are left here when, when it happens, all right? And of course, here go the missiles. He drew a missile coming down because he saw the missiles coming, and he said he actually saw the missile exploding, okay? And then this character, this right here, is Leviathan. He said he saw Leviathan come out of the ocean, but when he came out of the ocean, he said the water was... uh. The water was bubbling. You know, the water, he, he said it was like it was boiling before he came out the water into the city. And as you can see, Leviathan is tall, just as tall or taller than the buildings, okay, that he drew. Because he's, whatever city it was, Leviathan was in the city and he was destroying shit. And he, he brought the the sea with him. He was he so big, the sea moved when he came out, and the sea came into the city. Okay? And everything that he saw, everything he saw is scriptural. Okay? So this would make this a vision from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This, this vision that he had. I told him to draw it. This is what he drew. You know, and he said all the while him and him and his sister, okay, my daughter, they were they were on top of a high building just watching everything, and they saw everything. And they said they uh, he said that they uh, he said it was crazy. You know, he said it was it was just crazy. It was a lot of dead people. People were crying. Uh, the, the the chariots, you know the. Leviathan even showed up and the missiles. He said he saw everything and it was just insane and crazy. But him and his sister, while everybody else was in uh, pain and agony and being put to death, him and his sister were just calm watching everything, you know, which is beautiful, you know. But like I just read in Joel 2 and 27, I mean, Acts 2 and 27, two, Acts 2 and 17, this is what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai said will come to pass in the last days. Okay? Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And, and in this case, literally, my son had a dream of the end times, of the when, when shit hits the fan. Okay? <clears throat> so let's get a couple scriptures. All right. Now, about this, this scripture I'm reading because he said he saw Leviathan in his dream and he drew Leviathan. Okay. Because the, mo the Most High will uh, show Leviathan in these last days. Okay. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 3. It says, um, And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from me in the bottom of the sea, Hence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. And that serpent is talking about Leviathan, you know. So wherever Esau hiding in the sea, the Lord is going to command one of these Leviathans to, to bust up his little underwater base, okay? As well as coming to these cities, Okay. Because remember, this is this last these last days is gonna be like a time, okay, which <clears throat> there has never been a nation on the planet, okay. The Most High is really finna tear this place up, America. He's finna destroy this place, one hundred percent. All right. Now let's hit the next scripture. 
Nahum chapter 3, verse 3. Okay. This is dealing with the death and the dead bodies that he said he saw in his dream. Nahum 3 and 3. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. And there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses. And there is none end of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses. And this is why he drew <clears throat> uh, people dead in the street. Okay. This person looked like they crawling, probably screaming and begging for help. You know. Like I said, he didn't, you know, put a lot of detail in it, but he put enough, you know, just to explain what he, what he, uh, what he saw. Okay. And like I said, he, he's only 12 years old. So, um, let's get to the next scripture. Dealing with the chariot. Zechariah chapter 5. Verse 3. Well, I'm going to read from 1 to uh, 4. It says, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. Okay. And then going back to the, the drawing, he drew the chariots. He drew the chariots right here. Okay. And he said it was it was a it was it was a whole lot of them. All right, he said it was a bunch of them. Okay. And he said unto me, "What seest thou?" And I answered, "I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits." Then said he unto me, "This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth." For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. I will bring it forth, saith Yahweh of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house. Okay? Talking about America. Okay? And shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. All right. Now the last scripture I want to read is dealing with the missile he drew. Okay. Because he said he saw the missiles coming. He saw a missile coming and it and it and it blew up and it exploded. All right. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 12. The earth quaketh in the foundations thereof. The sea arises up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before Yahweh, and before the glory of his power. The strong, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, talking about that missile, his arrows that he shall shoot, that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss when they began to be shot into the ends of the world. Talking about those ICBM missiles. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Okay? And that's basically what my son saw in this dream. He saw the end times of chaos, distress, pain, agony, and destruction. Okay? So, going back to the beginning scripture. For Yahweh shall pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Okay? In these last days. And that's exactly what the Most High did, man. So we definitely are real close, man. You know, we are we are super close to the Most High sh shutting this thing down, totally. All right. So Lord, will this is edifying to the elect and uplifting to thy spirit. 
giving all praise to Yahweh by Shimei Shai by Shimei Until next time, Shalom.